Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shamika and this is Check the Rhymes. I'm super excited that you're here. You already know the drill. Subscribe, tap that bell icon, comment, like, share, and be sure to check me out at my media partner suite, 929.tv. Okay, it seems like yesterday, okay, maybe it was back in May, when I did a preview of the mid-season premiere of Tyler Perry's The Oval that airs on BET, and here we are, it's like almost the end of July, and it's already time for the finale. The finale airs tomorrow night, July 22nd at nine o'clock, and you don't get one episode, you get two. So, you know, that's, that's some drama. All right, joining me today, is I guess he would be considered the first son. It is Daniel Croy Henderson. He plays Jason Franklin. He is the son of the president of the United States on the Oval, Hunter Franklin, and First Lady Victoria Franklin. So we're gonna talk to Daniel about, you know, the finale, what's coming up for season two, and I hope he gives me some behind the scenes tea. I need some tea, y'all, I'm thirsty. Anyway, <laughs> stay tuned, you don't wanna miss this. Welcome to Check the Rhymes. How are you? I'm great. So I am expecting drama, drama, drama for the season finale of the, well, the first season. It's crazy that the first season's over, but the season finale of The Oval tomorrow night. Can you tell me what can we expect? Oh yeah, we can expect a lot of drama. I mean, as Tyler Perry brings it, it's going to be a complete disaster of events, you know? Any direction <laughs> you can see it going in, it'll probably go in. But I also think it's worth mentioning that, you know, this show is really funny. For all of the the drama and insanity, it's also a really hilarious ride to follow. So I'm really excited. Okay. Um, and actually, I just finished talking to your father, the president, and <laughs> and he was mentioning that you guys are back in, back on the lot next week to start filming season two. So can you give me any? He wouldn't he wouldn't budge because you know the president and his secrets. So can you give me any indication of what we can expect for season two? You know, those are classified White House materials that I I can't. I figured. <laughs> But one thing I can say is that we've amped the show up. I think that Tyler's done a great job with the second season. It was total page turner when I got the scripts. All of the stakes are raised. All of it is it's deeper, darker, funnier. Um, I, I just think that it's going to be such an exciting ride. Well, do you have any advice coming from, from you, Daniel, to Jason? Do you have any advice for your character? To my character? Now, let yeah. me be completely honest. Jason, my character, is a, is a total psychopath. And he needs <laughs> discipline, he needs love, and he may need some Jesus. Because he's just a complete wreck. Um, so if I had to speak to my character, I would say, get it together, get it together. And you get gotta it pour, pour some holy oil on him too. <laughs> Lord of water and everything, like all of it, sage, all of it. Okay, yeah, because I was like, ooh, he, that, ooh, <laughs> like yeah, he needs to be put in a, a locked room for a little bit to calm down or something. Um, yeah. So I want to know, what is your favorite behind the scenes moment so far? I think my favorite behind the scenes moment is, uh, you know, Tyler is very focused on set and we keep it really, you know, it's a tight ship. We work very efficiently, very quickly. But there was one time that uh, we were a little bit delayed. I think we were waiting for someone to come to set in costume and he just put on this big giant speaker and started blasting his playlist and the whole set just started dancing and laughing and it was just felt like a family and so there are those moments of just absolute joy of community in making a tv series that you might not expect to be happening now you know i'm gonna ask this unless this is classified t also what's on that playlist <laughs> what kind of music were y'all dancing to <laughs> no honestly i don't remember exactly what song i don't remember exactly what song but um i know it was popping like it was something great <laughs> <laughs> okay 
Okay. Um, so I also hear on Check the Rhymes, I'm big on affirmations. And of course, with the pandemic going on, a lot of times we have to continue to be positive energy into ourselves. So what affirmation do you tell yourself every day so you can just keep pushing through and, and remaining upbeat and positive? Yeah, I remind myself that it is so important to stay present and in the moment and to accept everything that comes, even the suffering that comes, even the pain that comes, I know that I have to accept it and that everything is temporary. And so I, I get into ruts. The coronavirus situation in the country, the civil unrest in the country has been so, so hard on me. And mm -hmm. I've had to really step into accepting those affirmations and uh, having a lot of faith and having a lot of trust. You know what, same here, same here. We're gonna all get through this. That's what I, Absolutely. you know, I, I, I'm like you, we're going to get through it, but you know, Absolutely. what's going to help tomorrow, no. the, <laughs> the finale of the oval. <laughs> so thank you so much. We'll be watching the oval tomorrow night, back to back episodes at nine o'clock on BET. Thank you, Daniel Croy Henderson. Thank you so much for having me.